Masak Fonseca, Wikipedia article audio. Masak Fonseca and Co is a Panamanian law firm and corporate service provider, which is the world's fourth biggest provider of offshore financial services. From its 1977 foundation until the April 2016 publication of the Panama Papers it remained mostly obscure, even though it sits at the heart of the global offshore industry, and acts for about 300,000 companies. More than half are registered in British tax havens as well as in the UK. The firm received worldwide media attention in April 2016 when the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists published information about its clients' financial dealings in the Panama Papers articles, following the release of an enormous cache of its documents from between 1970 and 2015 leaked to the news media. History and Practice Areas Offices and International Practice Controversies Argentine Money Laundering Commerce Bank Petrobras Panama Papers Leak On March 14, 2018, the law firm announced that it was shutting down, because of the economic and reputational damage inflicted by the disclosure of its role in global tax evasion by the Panama Papers. The firm was founded by German lawyer Jürgen Masak in 1977 and joined by Panamanian novelist-slash-lawyer Ramon Fonseca in 1986. It later added a third director, Swiss lawyer Christoph Zollinger. It specializes in commercial law, trust services, investor advisory, and international business structures. It also offers intellectual property protection and maritime law services. An internal memorandum revealed in the 2016 Panama Papers leak noted that 95% of the company's work consists of selling vehicles to avoid taxes. In 2013, the firm was described as one of seven that collectively represented more than half of the offshore companies incorporated in Panama. The firm also houses several Panama incorporated companies within its offices. It was one of the largest firms in the corporate services industry. However, the founder claims that its volume represents only around 5% of the global financial services legal industry. According to The Economist, the firm has 5 to 10% of the global shell company market, and it has been described as tight lipped. The firm has nine offices in China, several in Latin America, others in the United States and Europe, with two in Switzerland. Lawyers from the firm have been sent to foreign countries to promote business in Panama and Panamanian financial products. Mossack established operations in the British Virgin Islands in 1987, where it incorporated more than 100,000 companies. The firm was consulted by the country of Niu when it sought to become an offshore financial centre, and managed that business exclusively for the country through their Panama headquarters. However, American banks imposed embargoes on bank transfers to Niu in 2001, leading to a shutdown of the business in 2005. Accounts of the firm's clients were moved from Niu to American Samoa. The firm has allegedly helped foreign citizens circumvent their local tax laws and sometimes even international sanctions. The firm's founder has argued that it simply helps its clients achieve privacy, and that it now complies with Know Your Customer regulations. In 2014, MF Corporate Services was subpoenaed by a hedge fund seeking to recover money from the Argentinian government. The fund alleged that MF had created shell companies to pass money from the government to Lazaro Baez, an ally of the Kirchner family. 
Jurgen Mossack testified under oath that MF. Corporate Services Limited had no affiliation with the Panamanian Mossack Fonseca, but the Panama Papers show that it was in fact a wholly owned subsidiary and Mossack Fonseca tried to hide the relationship, ordering emails and other computer footprints deleted. Despite Mossack Fonseca's claim that it did not own MF Corporate Services, a Nevada judge ruled that the subpoena against Mossack Fonseca was valid. The firm was fighting in order that it turn over the details of 123 shell companies created by an associate of a former president of Argentina. In February 2015, the firm was implicated in the German government's investigation of money laundering and tax evasion schemes at Commerce Bank. In January 2016, employees of the firm's Brazilian office were charged in relation to the ongoing Petrobras corruption scandal. In that case, a judge alleged that Mossack Fonseca provided services for the opening of offshore societies and at least four agents were involved in a scheme to launder money. The firm has responded that the Brazilian office is a franchise and not controlled by the main office in Panama. The firm's founder resigned from his advisory position to the Panamanian government to focus on the Brazilian allegations, and says the firm has been cleared. On April 3, 2016, the German newspaper Süddeutsche Zeitung announced that 11.5 million confidential documents from the firm had been leaked to them. These documents, dubbed the Panama Papers, reveal how clients hid billions of dollars in tax havens. Comprising documents dating from the 1970s to the present, the 2.6 terabytes of data was given to SZ in 2015 by an anonymous source. Because of the amount of data, SZ enlisted the help of the Washington-based International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. The firm says that this coverage has misrepresented their work. In its full statement the company asserts that it conducts due diligence on potential clients, routinely denying services to those who are compromised, and routinely resigns from client engagements when ongoing due diligence and slash or updates to sanctions lists reveal problems. In addition, however, the company has said that responsibility for potential legal violations may lie with failures or lapses by other institutions given that. Approximately 90% of our clientele is comprised of professional clients, such as international financial institutions as well as trust companies and prominent law and accounting firms, who act as intermediaries and are regulated in the jurisdiction of their business. These clients are obliged to perform due diligence on their clients in accordance with the KYC and AML regulations to which they are subject. The company informed clients on April 3, 2016, that files had been obtained through a hack of the company's email server. Forbes has suggested that the firm's information security was poor, running old versions of key tools, and still other vulnerabilities have since been discovered. Shortly after the leak, Panamanian, Peruvian, and Salvadorian police raided the local offices of Mossack Fonseca. On March 15, 2018, the firm announced that it would be shutting down as a result of the economic and reputational damage inflicted as a result of the Panama Papers leak, together with what it described as unusual actions by certain Panamanian authorities.